What is going on everyone? It's Brody back again with another tennis topic and today's tennis topic is going to be comparing the Battle App Pure Strike Line versus the Battle App Pure Drive Line. Now these two are two of the more popular Battle App rackets. We're not touching the arrow here because I've seen some people asking about the differences between some of the drives and some of the strikes. So this is going to be explaining kind of just what the lines are supposed to do and how they are going to play a little bit more based off of what you're looking at as a general term. It's not gonna get into the specifics of each racket that much. We're just gonna say, this is what the strike line is supposed to do. This is what the Bablet pure drive line is supposed to do. And then if this helps you to make a better decision as to what may work better for your game, that's what the aim is here today. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first one that we'll start off with is going to be the Bablet pure strike. Now the pure strike line, this is mainly a control oriented racket. They do tend to have a, the thinner beams in the Battle App racket line, as well as they do tend to have not as many options because Battle App knew they were wanting to stick very close to what they knew was working. So they really wanted to keep it in the control oriented racket line. You have the 98 head sizes usually, you have the thinner beams. Typically they are going to be a little bit heavier because they are trying to just, I'll say, hold their, not be as unstable if you're playing against someone that has is hitting a lot of a harder ball back at you. That's where the control and the heavier weight options in the Pure Strike line do tend to come in. You're looking at, say, like the Pure Strike 98 16 by 19, the Pure Strike 98 18 by 20. And, and if you want to get a little bit lighter than that, you have the Pure Strike 100 and the Pure Strike 100 16 by 20. Besides that, the Pure Strike line doesn't tend to deviate. There are two or just a few little oversized rackets. One of them was the Pure Strike 103 at one point, and then I think now they're on the Pure Strike 102, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, don't quote me on that one, but... The Pure Strike line, it doesn't tend to differentiate or differ too much from that smaller head size because Bablat wants just their control racket. That's what the Pure Strike line is here to do, and that's what they are helping it to accomplish here. So the one thing about the Pure Strikes is that they do tend to be a little bit easier on the arm compared to other Bablat rackets. Now, Bablat as a brand in itself, they do tend to be a little bit of a stiffer racket company. That's what helps them to provide a little bit more power and have a quite a different feel compared to other brands that are out there. Usually if you can usually if you're playing with a lot of rackets and you feel whichever one is most powerful, if they're not if they're not all painted with their colors or not branded, usually the stiffer one is a Bablat racket and most people are able to tell that after they start to demo it or after they've been playing with it for a while. And it's just kind of become what Bablat is known for. They're a very powerful racket brand. And that doesn't go away with the Pure Strike line. It just doesn't have as much power as, say, the Pure Drive does, which we'll get to here in a few minutes. So with the Pure Strike line, you're typically looking at it more intermediate to advanced level player. You know your game style. You know what you're able to do well. You may just need a lot more help controlling the ball or being able to place your shot when you're actually hitting it rather than having something that helps you generate power, helps you generate spin, or anything like that because the strike is pretty much just going to be a very control oriented racket it's not going to help as much with anything it's going to be very it's going to be very heavy depending on the weight that you're looking at some of them i go up to about 11.4 ounces strong and i know i'm blanking on the grams right now because i don't know grams as well off the top of my head but those ones are going to be a little bit more on the heavy side, almost like the Wilson Blade 98 16 by 19, which is kind of the sister racket to the in Wilson compared to the regular Babylon Pure Strike 16 by 19, which is also a 98 head size. And then you also have others like the Babylon Pure Strike 98 18 by 20, which is a still I believe 11.4, and then the Pure Strike 100 and the Pure Strike and the Pure Strike. 116 by 20 those are i believe 11.2 ounces strong or 300 grams on strong so about around 315 grams strong that's where those usually fall in but the intermediate to advanced player who's looking for a control oriented racket you're not really going to get much else out of it but it is going to be a little bit heavier so it's a little bit more stable for you especially if you're playing at a higher level where whether that be high level high school that be 
high level college play or even if you're playing in a high level league for your club the pure strike is going to be a good option to demo just to see if you can if you enjoy the weight of it as well as it it, it may be the one of the only Bablat rackets that you may be able to use depending on if you've had arm issues in the past before but you like the brand Bablat as a company and you like the feel of the rackets the stiffer the racket is typically the more hard it is on you the player so there's a little bit more vibration that's coming back into your arm now this can be affected by strings the string pattern you're using and everything about that so we're not going to dive too far into it but if you look at a company's website and it says the stiffness rating of the actual tennis racket the lower the number typically the more flexible the racket it is so that's going to be a little bit easier on your arm and help prevent a lot more of the tennis elbow or as many elbow or wrist problems from the vibration from the racket as long as that number is typically lower whereas most bablat rackets like the pure drive those tend to be much more on the higher end compared to other brands so with the bablat pure strike Intermediate to advanced level player looking for a control racket that is typically a little bit heavier and just a little bit easier on the arm compared to other Babolat rackets. That tends to be the sweet spot for where the Pure Strike falls into line. If you're testing out rackets comparing it to the Wilson Blade, like I said, the Head Radical MP, or maybe even the Selenko Whiteout 98305 gram, this would be definitely one to try just to see if you want a little bit more help with power from a typically otherwise control oriented racket. Now, comparing the Pure Strike to the Pure Drive, that's where we get a bunch of major differences. So, the Pure Drive is purely a power racket. This thing has so much power to it. I've done a review of the actual Pure Drive 100, just the standard version on this channel. So, if you have any interest in how the Pure Drive plays in a little bit more detail, go ahead and check out that video here on the channel. But if not, Pure Drive is a very powerful racket. And the one thing that's very cool about the Pure Drive is that there's a ton of different weight options available to fit almost every single game style and every single level of player, whereas the Pure Strike is kind of limited in what they will make. So with like the Pure Drive, they have the Pure Drive 100, which is the standard weight. You have the Pure Drive Team, which is lighter than that. And then you have the Pure Drive Light, which is going to be the lightest, staying within the 100 head size and the 16 by 19 string pattern. Then you have rackets that are like the Pure Drive 107, you have the Pure Drive 110, and then you can just move around from there. You also have the Pure Drive 98 as well for a little bit more of an advanced level racket. But the Pure Drive's got a lot of different weights to go through, as well as a lot of different just ways that you can make this racket work for you and your specific game if you're wanting to try, if you're wanting to get a very powerful racket. Now, like I said earlier, a very powerful racket typically means that the rack is going to be harder on the arm because it is going to be quite a bit stiffer. So if you've had arm issues before or if you want to kind of avoid those, make sure that they don't necessarily flare up as much and you want to help eliminate that as much as possible, I would say to be very careful about using the Pure Drive, especially depending on if you're trying a bunch of different weights. I have personally seen a lot of players who didn't know what kind of racket they were getting into when they used the pure drive they tried it out they played with it and then they come back and they tell me it's like that thing was awful i can't i couldn't play for a week because i was just recovering from what that racket did to me and i was just like that is insane so with both of these rackets whether it be the pure drive or the pure strike please be sure to demo them to make sure that they not only work for your game but also just your body is able to handle them. I don't want you to get injured from your gear and then you have to take off playing tennis because the gear is what actually hurt you. And that's why I want one of the reasons for these videos is just so that you may know what's going on rather than just trying it out, buying a brand new racket, spending $250 or more on a brand new racket, buying it, playing with it once, finding out it hurt you, you're out for however long because you're recovering and then you can't return the racket because you played with it. That's not cool. I don't want you to have to go through that. So with this, whether it be the Pure Drive, whether it be the Pure Strike, please, please, please always demo the rackets if you have the ability to. If you know someone who has a racket, ask to borrow it if you're curious about it and just go from there. Now, with all that being said, 
if your arm has never been a problem before, you've never had like shoulder surgery, shoulder pain, wrist injuries, wrist problems, tennis elbow, or anything like that, and you want to try a bevel up here drive, you go right ahead. You got an easy racket that can be used from beginner to advanced level players. Whether you're just starting out in your tennis journey or you've been playing for a while and you just want a more powerful racket that's going to help give you that extra push, that extra power to overpower your opponents, that's where you can look at the Pure Drive because, like I said, you have so many diverse options in order for weight as well as just a few different options in terms of how you can customize it, meaning that they have some of the smaller head sizes, mainly just the 98, 16 by 19. No, they changed that to a 16 by 20. My, I'm sorry, that's my mistake. But you have the 98 and then you have the different weight variations. You also do have, ten, sometimes have a heavier weight variation of the standard one. I don't know, I think they call it the Pure Drive Tour now. So it is the heavier weight. And then you also have the Pure Drive Plus, which is a little bit of a longer racket. So you got a lot of options here with the Pure Drive. And that's where if you are wanting to try one, go right ahead. Just be sure to try it before you buy it so that way you don't get hurt or if, or you don't get stuck with a racket that actually ended up hurting you. Get it? Okay. So with that being said, that's just a quick little recap of what the Pure Strike Line is going to do, especially comparing it to the Pure Drive. If you're someone who's looking for a more control-oriented racket that's going to be heavier, it's going to be a little bit easier on the arm compared to other Babolat rackets and just be a little bit more of a higher level to more advanced players racket. That's where the Pure Strike line comes in. They do have other variations that are a little bit more accessible to players that are starting out or that are just getting into tennis. You've been playing for a while and you just want a little bit more help with control. Pure Strike line does have a few options for that, but it's not nearly as many. I would say that's where you may want to look more towards the Pure Drive just because it is going to be a little bit easier in being an all around style racket that's going to help with pretty much everything, but just mainly, but just mainly focuses on power as well as having a bunch of different options for you to personally see which one works better for you. So with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like on it, comment down below any more questions you may have about the Pure Strike or the Pure Drive line. I'll try and get back to them as soon as I can, as well as subscribe to the channel so that we can grow the channel get the information out there from the people that have it to the people that need it. There's a lot of tennis misinformation in the tennis community. So I took it upon myself to make this channel so that we can get rid of that and get the information out there from the people that have it to the people that need it. So we can all enjoy the game of tennis that we love so much more without having to worry about risk of injury from our gear and anything else like that. And as always, take care.